Hi everyone, my name's Derek and I'm here to talk about caring for Anthurium clarinervi implants and germinating their seeds. Let's start out with soil and water needs for adult plants. Anthurium clarinervium grows as an epiphyte in nature, meaning it is a ridiculous queen that just likes to show off. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It means that rather than growing in soil, it will grow on trees or vertical rock walls. In cultivation, this equates to a light and chunky soil mix that will dry out quickly. If you have normal potting mix, I would suggest adding around 50% perlite to improve drainage. Using a clay pot like this can also improve airflow as the porous clay sucks up water and makes it dry faster. It can also be a good idea to use sphagnum moss like I'm using here. This does stay pretty damp, but it also has a lot of air inside of it, and it does kind of mimic their natural habitat where they will grow on the trees amongst the moss and the crevices of the tree bark and everything. And it's especially nice if you add holes like here, which really just improves the drainage and airflow entirely. For the pot size, you want to use one that just accommodates the root mass and then just a little bit bigger. Uh, this pot is so big just because the root mass was really big on this plant. It was just a tiny bit smaller than that pot. This plant may like to dry out quickly, but it is still one thirsty leaf pal. When watering, always let just the top of the soil dry out. If you let it go bone dry, this plant will not be happy. And if you keep watering it while the top of the soil is still wet, it'll probably start rotting. For light, this species likes the ever elusive bright indirect light. Bright indirect light essentially means that you want to have your plant in the brightest location possible without having direct sun touch its leaves. A south windowsill with thin see-through curtains would work well. Otherwise, west and east locations are ideal. If you don't know your cardinal directions or don't have a clue where you are at all times just like me, then you should probably just hop on Google, you silly dum-dum. Don't put this plant far away from a window or in a north windowsill because these locations are just too dark. For temperature, this species doesn't like to drop below 55 degrees Fahrenheit or go too much above 85 degrees. Basically, temperatures that are comfortable for you will be comfortable for this plant. This basically covers adult plant care, so let's check out some seedlings and talk about how to germinate them. Seedling care is very similar to the adult plants. I laid these seeds directly on top or just a tiny bit under the moss and kept them moist, not really allowing them to dry out. As you can see, well, I'm sure you've been able to tell, aesthetic is an incredibly important aspect of my life. And so basically, I covered these with a dirty plastic bag and ripped some holes in them. And this keeps the humidity up while still allowing a little bit of airflow, and that humidity is really important to the seed germination process. Temperatures stayed between 60 and 72 degrees. It only took about one to two weeks for the seeds to begin to send out roots. My final note on seeds is that there are so many fake seeds out there, uh, so I'd research your seller properly or even just look at their reviews to make sure that you'll get the real deal. That just about wraps up this video for today. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or comment, and if you want to see more from me, subscribe. I will semi-regularly post videos about houseplants and gasneriads. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day.